Days to the presidential and national assembly elections, the handwriting was in the skies that leaders of the non-existent APC were determined to use the Nigerian army and the special anti-robbery squad SARS to rob the mandate of reverse people. This was obvious because prior to the sudden postponement of the elections on February 16, soldiers of the 6th Division of the Nigerian Army had embarked on the killer's moves of destabilizing the leaders of PDP across the state. The objective was simple, truncate the voting process in River State and create the avenue for APC to deliver APC presidential candidate. Sensing this ugly trend, different ethnic nationalities across River State held press conferences where they outlined the planned violence planned by security forces and the APC against reverse people. A few names featured notoriously or through the briefings. The Minister of Transportation, Chibikiru Timea Mechi, General Officer Commanding 6th Division of the Nigerian Army, Major General Jamil Saham, and the State Commander of SARS, Commander Akin Fakuridi. As predicted, Army personnel of the 6th Division went operate in the quest to manipulate the electoral process in favor of the rejected APC. The atrocities committed by these soldiers are mind-blocking. They will make the bravest quake in shock. In Abonima, Akukoto local government area, soldiers of the Nigerian army led by APC chieftains invaded communities snatching electoral materials. Jesus. The community questioned the rationality of this criminal act and the 6th Division visited them with death and injuries. When the dust settled, over 20 youth had been gunned down. As at Monday, more deaths were discovered as missing persons were floating on the rivers. Even INEC staffs were not spared by these killer political soldiers. A young mother, late Bisaki Amakri, was gunned down by soldiers. The pictures of her husband weeping over her corpse shattered hearts online. The Minister of Transportation collaborated with the 6th Division of the Nigerian Army to disrupt the collision process in the Quarry and Emoha local government areas. These were areas where election materials were snatched at the point of collision by soldiers. They were later to surface with concocted result. It was the same story at Okrika and Asarito local government areas. Soldiers of the 6th Division of the Nigerian Army were indicted in the disruption of collation and snatching of results. These indictments were handed over by INEC electoral officers. These are federal civil servants officially involved in election management. Speaking during the collation session on Monday, Mrs. Mary Efiture Imawoya, INEC electoral officer of Ikwere LGA, declared that no collation was carried out in the Ikwere local government area because of the invasion of the INEC office in Isioko by soldiers. Between 8 and 7, the military invaded INEC office Ikwe and Isioko and worked out every ad hoc staff that were there to present their results to their collation officers. And in the process, you can go there and see the evidence still there. We took the recordings of where the things, all the things have been littered all over the office. And materials for elections, rain scattered everything. So at the end of the day, no collation was carried out. And the results signed, the results of the collation officers issued to them for collation, I retrieved and returned back to my state office. She noted that the military personnel did not allow the ad hoc staff to carry out collation in their wards. Hence, permission was sought out and obtained from INEC for collation to hold at the INEC office at Isiopo. We sent messages to all our POs that they should report to INEC office with their results. And as they were coming in, one after the other, the collation officers were asked to identify their POs and do their collation because they already signed and received the results sheets for the various elections. Also speaking, INEC electoral officer for Emoha local government area, Kenneth Eta, blamed massive shootings by the military for the disruption of Emoha local government area collation process. As I speak, I do not have any result to present because collation did not take place in my local government and this was due to the sporadic gun shooting that disrupted the process at the point of collision after about one hour of shooting 
the security officers evacuated us to the council hall. We remained there with everybody while the materials that I was to issue that I had issued and the collection officer returned them to my office, remained in my office. But by four and or five, when it was getting done, I moved in to get the materials. I discovered that the place was buckled in. And as I speak, no one material was seen by me. The INEC electoral officer of Okrika local government area of River State, Mr. Leo Okon, has stated that the soldiers of the Nigerian army invaded INEC office in Okrika and snatched the results of the presidential and national assembly elections for the local government area. Speaking at the Rivers East Centurial District Collation Center Monday, the Okrika local government area electoral officer said that the invading soldiers were led by one Captain Inua. I'm here to present a report concerning the elections we conducted, the presidential election, national assembly election that we conducted in Okrika local government on the 23rd of February 2019. We actually deployed men and materials for the election to the field to the various RAF centers. But it may also interest you to know that as material for Ward 6, 7, 8, and 9 was going to the Super Rack Center designated for those wards, I was informed that the material for those wards were diverted. Every other ward's material for this same election went to the field successfully, up to the polling unit. Election was conducted. At the end of the poll, there were so many gunshots, sporadic gunshots. And so the poll officials could not withstand, some of them could not stay at the different polling unit, you know, to collect their from EC8A results at the polling unit. So all what they did, they ran to INEC office or the local government premises where the INEC office is situated for solace. They came there to continue with their feeling of their from EC8A. And at that point, as you're all aware, after filling the forms at the polling unit, we're supposed to arrange for collusion. So at the point of arrangement for collusion, of result at what level? Military team, soldiers led by one Captain Inoa came and ordered in my office that she suspend everything and ordered his men to do away with every other materials, including those ones they were, uh, the children were collecting for the, for the pulling units. So those materials were scattered away with nothing left for me to present as an evidence for this election. And so, as I speak with you, I have no record, no result to present for collation at this collation center. The case of Asarito local government area was more disheartening. At the Rivers Presidential Collation Center, the INEC electoral officer Mr. Glint pointed out that the army working with the APC talks snatched resource sheets and escaped with them. The election started smoothly. By 11.45, there were high level of presidential snatching, vandalization of sensitive materials. The result of that mostly got and beaten up, especially when you want one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, ten. I have all their reports here, sir. The Bonnie chiefs counseled after their meetings decried the role of security forces during the botched presidential elections in the area. They wrote, to raise the concerns of Bonnie people to the appropriate military and police authorities through the Chief Security Officer of River State, His Excellency, Chief Barista Yeso Mezon Wike, CON, DGSSRS, on the need to caution their men especially deployed to Bonnie for election duties 
to act professionally and in a non-partisan manner. It is imperative to note that all the electoral officers are staff of the federal government, just like the soldiers. However, they refuse to allow their conscience to be stained by the lucrative and threat of the APC federal government. The 6th Division of the Nigerian Army became more partisan than the APC leaders. They allowed themselves to be used to penetrate crimes against reverse people and against democracy. That the military were led on the house-to-house -house hunt for PDP leaders and members were the worst indication of loss of sense of responsibility. It is disheartening that soldiers of the 6th Division allowed themselves to be used against reverse people whose resources were used by Governor Wicke to fund the operationalization of the military facility. The River State Government, under the leadership of Governor Yeso Maison Wiki, funded the setting up of the 6th Division and the takeoff logistics. These soldiers must realize that they serve Nigeria and not a political interest of APC federal government. Luckily, the international community has taken note of the violence meted out by River's people by the 6th Division of the Nigerian Army. Uh, I'm here per participating as an international observer. All I want to say today is as an observer, we've been watching elections here in River State. Um, I'm not here to grade elections or anything like that. We're here to just say there's been enough violence. Enough people have died. And I'm here today speaking with the different candidates and party leaders. And that's the reason I'm here today. So thank you very much. Have a great day. The next stage is to ensure that all criminals are brought to justice. Governor Wike has committed himself to seeking justice for the victims of six division brutality and deliberate electoral violence. Let it be known that those who masturbated the murderous assault on Abonima and other communities in River State last Saturday have blossoms on their hands for which they are unanswerable before the Almighty God. I wish to assure all and sundry that we shall as a government pursue justice for the families of the victims against the perpetrators of the mayhem, killings and destructions in Abonima and other communities in the Calabari Kingdom and other places, no matter how powerful they may seem and how long it may take.